A few weeks ago we were hit by a really bad storm, so bad that it actually damaged our boat and made our mast unstable. We've got a line running here, we've got a line running here. Hopefully that'll help to offset any weird pressure that might be happening here. With another line of bad storms coming, we were forced to find a good safe place to park our boat. And we were so right, lucky we're to find a magical place called Jekyll Island Harbor. Yeah, we're good. Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. <laughs> We, we we got a golf cart. They have a complimentary uh, courtesy golf cart. Which way is it? This way? I think it's this way. Oh, you're not buckled yet? This looks like it does a, a maximum of 45 miles an hour, so let's let it rip. And she told us there's um, some really cool things. There's a, an old driftwood beach, and there's a beach that's covered in sand dollars right now. So we're gonna try to check those out because that sounds really cool. Okay, we made it. How many miles? It's like four or something. I don't know, it felt like 30 miles. <laughs> it wasn't. In the golf cart. It took us 25 minutes. <laughs> So it's 25 minutes on a golf cart. To get to this, this is the Driftwood Park at one of the points on Jekyll Island. We read about it. We kind of got a little bit of a peek at it as we were driving up here to this parking area. Seems really cool. Yeah. Do you know anything else about it? I don't. This is cool. Guys, I really didn't know what to expect. We saw this as we were coming in from the water, but this is wild. What happened, Elle? Nice sunny spot. This looks like a light. It's cool. I'm not sure if you should climb on that. Looks like it'd be sturdy enough. But... So this must have been a forest area that maybe got hit by a hurricane and now it's just laying out here slowly rotting away. I guess. I don't really know. But it is super cool. You think this is a hurricane that came in here and tore all this up? And... I think it's just petrified sort of wood, right? It's not petrified, it is rotting. Well, maybe it's getting mineralized with salt from the ocean. Well, guys, everybody kind of took off and left me. They're, they're about 100 yards up that way. But look at this place. This place is so cool. I've never seen anything like this. It has a very kind of... Uh, post-apocalyptic sort of feel about it just everything is like dead and barren even the beach look at the beach it's just like flat other than the people walking around checking things out this whole little area has like a sad beauty to it it's cool the kids are loving it they're climbing on stuff which we're allowed to do the sign said we were not allowed to um, cut off or break off any pieces of the wood that makes sense um, but yeah, look how calm the water is compared to what we went through in the last couple of days.
we only get the golf cart for an hour and a half but, but it's we free, it's so. free so that's nice and we really loved the driftwood beach and now we have a little bit of time the lady at the marina uh, told us that one of these beaches is covered with sand dollars so we're going to check that out oh my goodness the tide is out this beach has nothing <laughs> oh my goodness this does not appear to be the sand dollar beach now i don't think there's sand dollars here i don't see anything there is nothing well, let's take a quick moment and walk out there just because look at this barren beach I don't know what it's like during the uh, you know season because it's cold in January right now but but wowza if this is the way it is during season I doubt it <laughs> you'd have the whole public, beach to yourself <laughs> huge public parking lot here which is no pay we are from Myrtle Beach area and every beach is now pay there you have to pay to park everywhere and that stinks because it costs you about 10 bucks a day Myrtle Beach got a taste of the green and they like it they want more and I more and more sand dollar right there maybe there's sand dollars there. then right right there I don't think nothing am I allowed to take this driftwood oh this one's rotten I'm trying to find a piece of driftwood because I've got a knife that uh, the handles like rotten off of it and I want to try to make a new handle for it out of some kind of wood that we found somewhere in our travels. I just think that'd be fun. But I got enough projects right now. I don't need another one. But this might be a cool thing to do if I do find it. Here, hold your hand out. Yeah, see, it has little tiny feet. We should probably put it in the water. I don't know if it's alive or not. It's a, it was alive. It died pretty soon because most of the sand dollars don't even have their feet. I think it's. Let's put them in the water. Almost dropped it. Food bowls right there. Yes. Are you a good boy? <laughs> well Carter wanted to stay on the boat but we're up here kind of scouting out the marina I think I think they just closed it's just about sunset so I think they closed yeah this is the marina right and this is the public parking with the little pier I guess pedestrian bike path and it goes into town and then it goes this way Oh look, a bike path goes clear out to the point. Where this is... This is where the driftwood beach is. Okay. He's very friendly. Look at their cup. I love that. It's so cute. Yeah. Are they plastic or glass even? They're really cute. He's That's a marina nice. cat, Elle. Do you see his food over here? Look, come over here. He's got food in his dish and everything. He's like, oh, 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 what are you doing there? You coming up here? That's a good boy. <laughs> All right, we can pet him again when we come back. If it were up to Ella, she would grab every cat and just pile them in her room and have a very magical time. <laughs> is that right? And I would too. We saw a lady carrying two ragdoll cats, which is like, I would love to have a ragdoll cat. They were, they were so cute. Can we go after it? What color was it? It was, I think it was wild. Courtesy bikes are bikes we can use. Yep. They actually, these ones look like they have new tires on them and they look like they're ready to go. That's a beastly bike you got there. Oh, that's mine.
The pool looks like it would be nice, but it's cold. 